four changes after seven changes from the first game. How hard is it to try and keep settled when, when there's been so many changes through the ball? It's been a challenge, but like I said last week, um, we rotated through a lot of different combinations in the lead up to this. Um, we're confident all our players are going to roll out. Um, so, you know, like, yes, there are changes and there hasn't been too much consistency throughout this series. Um, you know, we're, we're super pleased where the team's at. Um, 36 years since an international match has been played here, do the players get a sense of the occasion and, and you know, the place that they're playing at? If they haven't yet, they will when they turn up here today. Um, like the stadium looks remarkable. The field's in top nick. Like the deck actually looks really good for the amount of rain that's been through uh, Sydney in the last little bit. Um, so I mean, I've played here before for the Tars. It's fantastic. Sell out. There's not a not a ticket left. Um, so you know, it's going to be a special night. What does it mean to you, Michael, to play what could possibly be the Wallabies' last test at the SCG? Yes, yeah, hugely special. Um, tough to put into words. I, you know, I'm a Sydney boy. Very proud, um, you know, from where you know I come from and grew up, and came out here watching Test matches, um, you know, cricket Test matches and AFL games and everything, and played a couple. Been lucky to play a couple of rugby games here, uh, but to play for your country um, against England uh, in a decider series here, it's uh, it's up there, you know. So um, really looking forward to tomorrow. We're pumped. Dave Rennie's come out and said he wants you to start faster after the last couple of matches. What have you done throughout this week to, to make sure you do that? We've got to get out of our end well. Um, you know, we've got to be able to. We get our opportunity to to use it, utilize our set piece to get up the other ends of the field, along with some other areas that we've focused on this week. Um, you know, we've been able to sustain a lot of pressure. Um, you know, come back into the games from from being behind. We want to flip that, um, obviously. Um, so to come out with good momentum and, and stack it on and put these guys under pressure. You know, they did a great job last week doing that to us. So, um, you know, of, of course, wanting to change that round. Uh, amazing athlete, uh, really good guy. Um, you know, he's fit into the team really well. So, you know, everyone was pretty pumped to to see him get an opportunity because we, was, you know, he's he's had a, you know, tough initiation into rugby with his injury history and and things like that, and hasn't had a, you know, the break that um, you know he could have had. But uh, you know, he's here now. Um, he's got an opportunity and um, you know, a great game to play. He's a big game player um, and a superior athlete. Like he looks amazing. So um, hopefully he can come on at a, at a time and, and change the game around. That back row, Harry coming in at six. How have you seen that sort of that back row competition, and what kind of different element can Harry bring to the side? Oh, Harry's a complete player, in my opinion. Uh, real threat and attack. You know, he's got good skill. Um, he's a he's a tough ball carry. You know, I've tackled him, and he's hard to stop. Um, so he brings that element. He's also, you know, exceptional. Um, you know, in this jersey, he was he's great defensively. Um, you know, against the the handful of games that he he's played. So you know, looking for him to really lead the charge in that area, um, damaging both sides of the ball, um, and you know, do it for a long period of time. So you know, excited for him to get his opportunity here tomorrow and and work that combination. Just to touch on the side, I mean, I think we have four tests across the world. And every test is going to the side. Oh, it's definitely been the um, the story in the last, you know, however many years now that um, you know, there's no easy games. Like everyone, you go into every game and it is super competitive. It's going down to the wire, um, you know, and it's a, I guess it's a tipper's nightmare for a certain extent. So um, I think it's great for rugby, great great for the viewer, great for the fan. Um, you know, I know in our series it's been. You know, two tussles that you know has kept guys on the field and probably in the stands well on the edge of the seats. So um, I expect tomorrow to be no different. Michael Nick White spoke about some of the niggle during this series. And Eddie Jones came out yesterday and said Nick White's the biggest niggle going around. <laughs> um, what do you make of that? Oh, not much. Um, Whitey, Whitey's just obsessed with rugby. <laughs> like the guy's an absolute footy nerd. So um, he just wants to play. Uh, he's as competitive as you'll see. I mean, most halfbacks are. Um, you know, so he just wants to play rugby and, you know, he'll be doing his usual thing tomorrow. When England scored a try, you copped a couple of taps on the chest um, from an opponent. Like, how do you think the niggle and sort of general spirit of this series has been compared to others? Oh, it's been competitive. Like, it's um, been enjoyable. I think both teams just want to win and, um, you know, we get a chance to see that tomorrow. So, you know, expecting it to be an element of tomorrow's game. But uh, ultimately, tomorrow, you know, it's all about um, who's up on the scoreboard and, you know, who can do it for longer. So. Um, yeah, it's been a, it's been an enjoyable element. It's part of the game, so you crack like, on. You like all Adam Ashley Cooper tomorrow, third most caps Wally. How does that sit with you? A good mate. <laughs> I'll send him a text. Um, 
I think he's back in Australia, so hopefully he's coming out. Um, no, uh, yeah, there you go. It's, um, yeah, think about it later. You, um, it's a way, way away, but World Cup in 15 months. Uh, these sort of games that decide the pressure, do you think about you know, how you could use perhaps a victory like this to springboard into a Cup campaign? Oh, it's, it's, so, it's such a long way away. Um, I, I think it's a great uh, position to be in um, because it's, you know, for the for the squad, um, the guys in the environment, you know, pressure games, you know, it's kind of like knockout um, in this situation. So it's it's good to be a part of in terms of the learnings that we'll get out of it. Um, you know, so it's just it's just there to execute now, and uh, you know, we'll take confidence out of it uh, for sure um, in in what we've done this week, um, and then leading into the game, you know, we're happy with our preparation. So um, yeah, good practice. And what have you learned? Oh, we're we're a resilient bunch. Um, you know, we've been able to get our get ourselves um, back into both games. You know, winning the first and you know getting close close there last week. Um, we, we, want a, we want a more complete game. We want to start better, as I mentioned before. Uh, we don't think we've um, played as well as we can. We think we're we're a better team than what we've shown so far. So that's hugely exciting for us. And you know, our motivation and inside is is to put that out there and show that to the crowd tomorrow. Um, what we've learned about England, you know, again, tough, um, hard, um, physical opponent, um, good at set piece, uh, you know, and, and can really grind you. Um, they put score, they apply scoreboard pressure um, consistently throughout the game. So, um, you know, taking that away from them is important. Michael, the coach said yesterday of the second test, we're better than that. And you've alluded to the fact that you haven't played complete games. How do you get the mentality to play that complete game in the future? Oh, look, it's... Um, it, it's backing where we're at. It's it's being confident in what we've done. Um, you know, it, it's not going to be perfect tomorrow. You've got the other team trying to do the exact same thing to you and, and flog you tomorrow. So, you know, we've got to be confident in what um, our game plan is, which we are. Um, so, that, you know, that's the first thing done. And then we've just got to go out and execute it. Um, you know, we haven't done that. We've talked about the starts a hell of a lot. Haven't done that at the start, but we've managed to find our groove into the game and, and get it humming. We just want to do it for longer. Want to, you know, be able to do it early, and, and, and we will. Michael, there's been some commentary that the game's been over-officiated. Last week, I think 32 minutes of play with the ball in hand. Uh, do you think the refs would be a bit trigger-happy? And do you think that there's any different rule changes? Oh, rule change? I mean, there's always sort of consistent tinkering to the rules. Um, each year, each before each series, um, you know, we came into this with, with some scrum changes. There's always going to be that stuff going on, and, and these sort of tests highlight that, whether there's some rule changes, you know, um, I guess they'll decide on that after it. Um, but I mean, uh, you know, that's that's our game. It's an imperfect game, like completely. So um, you know, keep refine. We're just like like us as a team. We just keep refining it, and so does World Rugby. How do you think the deliberate knock on has been played too harsh? Um, yeah, when you say deliberate knock on, I don't think. Uh, you know, um, Izzy was trying to deliberately knock that on. <laughs> I think he's trying to go 80 and score that try. Um, so yeah. Try yeah. Oh, look, I think you know we got we got to have rules because um, you want to reward you know positive play. Um, was that is that seen as positive? I, I think I, I saw it as a positive attempt to you know be good for the spectator and good for the game. Um, you know, but getting that right, how it looks in terms of what hands facing what I, I don't know. So um, make it consistent is uh, important. I know at that point in the game I was uh, pretty happy to have a break, um, so I got to suck in a few uh, big, um, big breaths. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, yeah, we want more ball and play time. Um, want the game to be attractive to the viewer and you know fun to play as well. So um, you know, rewarding good rugby um, and good big plays is important. Um, and again, look how that's managed. Um, people know better than I do. It's a big occasion, like it's a sellout. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure the the refs don't want to be a part of the game. They want the game to play. You know, you speak to them, and you know they want to want to see a fair, clean, and even game, and don't want to be the the headline the following morning. So you know they've got a really tough position. They've got to officiate it. So um, probably the hardest position on the field, if being honest. You know, to to manage the game with with the fans, with the pressure that goes about it. So 
you know, full credit to the, the referees for doing that under a lot of pressure. You know, it's a hard job. Um, you know, um, yeah, I want the game to play. I want it to be f um, smooth and good for the viewer. But we don't want to be turning up on Sunday morning and something's been washed over because it wasn't officiated properly. You know, just want consistency in the game and go from there. Last couple, please, Wes. Michael, left field. Did you watch State of Origin on Wednesday night? First half. What did you make of it? And is there anything that you might pull out of um, I was happy with how the first half was going, um, being a New South Wales supporter. <laughs> um, but uh, oh, look, I mean, it was an amazing contest. Um, but no, like I'm pretty focused on what we've got to do, yeah. I haven't really thought about it uh, at this stage. I've been so focused on the game, but it's pretty good um, showing the fact it's a, it's a sellout and you know people are desperate to get tickets. So that shows it's in pretty good stead. Um, to be able to take it to a decider, yeah, would have liked to you know had had the series in um, decided last week. But um, you know it's great for the the spectacle here tomorrow and great for the player to be a part of. Um, so I think it's pretty good. Like it's clearly people want to come here. I mean, it's, um, you know, different to watch. It's an oval field, you know, to watch rugby and everything like that. So it's, um, you know, fantastic that, you know, people are buzzing to get a ticket and be around. Um, you know, one thing we do know about Sydney and, um, you know, they absolutely love occasions like this. And this may be the last occasion um, at the SCG for the Wallabies. So what a, what a special one to be a part of. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. Thank you.